Looking to stake a claim on some security wisdom in a hurry? Well, you're in luck, Keyboard Cowboy. It's time for another Black Hills Information Security Nugget. Learn how to slow down your attackers with Honey Users. Brought to you by Black Hills Information Security. Now here's John Strand. Hello and welcome. My name is John Strand. In this video, we're going to talk about a way to effectively end password sprays whenever an attacker is broken into your environment and trying to move laterally. This is a technique that is used by almost all pen testers, actually all good pen testers. And it's also used by a number of evil malicious attackers. It's actually on the MITRE attack technique matrix. Can't remember the numbers because they change them like all the time. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the problem, demonstrate the problem. We're going to show you a quick and easy way that you can shut that problem down in your environment. So I'm going to invoke local password spray. This is a modified version of the tool by Bull Bullock or Daft Hack, if you want to look them up on GitHub, that allows you to do a password spray. What this tool does is it automatically downloads a list of all the users for the domain, or in my anti-siphon class VM that I'm running here, it's just going to pull it locally. But in a domain, it would work the exact same way. And you can see here in the green that we did a password spray with a password of winter 2020, and it identified six accounts with that password of winter 2020. Now, there's a couple of problems with detecting password spreads. The first thing is it's only usually doing about one failed login attempt per user. In fact, that's the password spray policy for Black Hills Information Security. Don't ever go above that. Like, we recommend doing like one password per user every two to three hours. And if your account lockout policy is five, keep it at one. If it's at 10, keep it at one. If it's set at 20 failed login attempts, keep it at one attempt per user. The reason is you'll have group policy off service accounts, different user accounts, or different active directory environments with transitive trust relationships, and you can still lock out accounts. So keeping it at one password spray every two to three hours is usually a safe bet. We attempted season and year winter 2020, and we were able to find six accounts. Now, many of your like SIM tools and UEBA tools can detect this mainly because of the timing, because it goes really fast. And that's because a lot of the UEBA tools are really good at detecting pen testers, but not an actual real adversary. What do I mean by that? Well, a pen tester has a very short period of time to do this, so they do it very quickly. An attacker will have weeks, so they'll do it slowly. How do we detect both of them? Well, what we're going to do is, once again, I'm using the instructions that we have in my Pay What You Can class for cyber de deception. You should check it out. And I'm going to open up Event Viewer, and we're just going to do something with Event Viewer really, really quickly as a stand-in for your SIM. The point on this is if I can do something with Event Viewer that detects these types of attacks and I can do it like in a five minute video, then your security team should be able to pull this off with your super expensive, awesome SIM that you have. So I'm just going to create a custom view. We're going to edit the XML and it's going to say, yes, I know what I'm doing. And then I'm going to take this XML that sets up a Honey user called Frank. Well, actually, the Honey user of Frank already exists. What this is doing is it's creating a rule that if anybody ever tries to access the Frank account successfully or unsuccessfully, it's going to generate an alert. And I'm just going to call this Frank. Like So now we have this rule, and we already have some hits on this rule. And that's because we have the, uh, the uh, events for the creation of the Frank account. And then also for the um, for the password spray that I did for the demonstration in here as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rerun the password spray, and you're going to see a few more Frank hits show up. There we go. Hits all of the different counts. Notice here we have Christopher, Dennis, Gregory, Jack, Jerry, and Michael. We do not have a Frank account. It doesn't matter with the Honey user account in your SIM if it is successfully logged into or not because we're simply seeing if someone's attempting to authenticate to the Honey user account. Now, if I do a refresh, we have some new events of our password spray where we attempted to access the Frank account. The cool thing about setting up Honey accounts in your environment is it will work regardless of how slow the attacker actually runs the attack. If the attacker does one per every 10 minutes, That'll fly under the radar of many UEBAs, but you're still going to be able to detect it. So it'll detect attackers 
and the Wiley pen testers. This is an effective way of shutting down password sprays in your environment, or at least detecting them. One note, it's very, very common for audit committees to find an account like Frank that hasn't been logged into in a while. You, you're going to want to make sure that there's exceptions. Also, you're going to want to log into the Frank account or Honey user account, whatever you want to name it. Otherwise, it'll set the last login time to January 1st, 1601, and all of the really good tools will avoid the accounts that have never been logged into. Create the account, log into the account, set it so it doesn't expire, give it a good strong password too, might want to set its login hours to zero, and then set up your rule in your SIM that if anybody logs in, it's going to generate an alert. There you have this BHIS nugget. Do me a favor. If you could hit like and subscribe down below, I, I would really appreciate it for some weird reason, because this is the life we lead now. If you stuck around this long, like and subscribe to get more Black Hills InfoSec nuggets. And check out these other videos while you're at it. See you on the range, Keyboard Cowboy.